A really important thing to do when you're looking for an accountant is to find an accountant that's got sector knowledge, so someone that understands about social enterprises, because they'll be able to help you with funding, they'll also be able to help you to connect with other people and put you in touch with um, potential contacts that can help you to grow your business, and they'll also be aware of topical issues and, and items that are happening within the sector, which can assist you with developing your business. Another really important thing to think about is talking to other people and getting recommendations for who they use as their accountant. A lot of accountants um, get new clients through referrals and recommendations rather than through things like Google searches and it's really important to talk to other people to find out what experience they've had of that accountant because then you'll know whether that accountant is likely to be a good fit for your social enterprise or not. As well as thinking about the type of accountancy firm, it's also important to think about the accountant and whether you think you'll be able to get on with that person or not. So knowing whether you'll be able to communicate quite easily with them, whether they understand what you're talking about, and also whether they share similar um, values and ethos to you. So it would be quite important for a social enterprise to know that the accountant has some kind of social values or a similar kind of ethos to you in order that you can um, talk to them quite easily. A really important area when you're first starting up your social enterprise is to know that your accountant has knowledge and training and experience of working with startup social enterprises and also an accountant that can work with social enterprises as they grow. So as your social enterprise grows and develops, you want an accountant that has the knowledge and understanding to work with those um, types of organisations. So as your organisation gets bigger, the accountant still has the experience. So you're looking for an accountant that's not just right for you now in the startup phase, but one that will also be there for you once your social enterprise is much, much bigger. It's really important to have an accountant that's got professional qualifications because if something does go wrong, you can make a complaint to the institute or you can seek mediation to resolve the issue. Um, it's also a good sign that the accountant has got wider knowledge than just accountancy. They'll also have experience of business advice and various aspects around business planning. They'll also have done some studying around legal aspects and marketing and different things. So they'll be able to assist your business in a wider way than someone who doesn't necessarily have a professional qualification. The final thing to think about is agreeing the fees up front so that you know exactly what it's going to cost you during the year. So the first thing to think about is agreeing fixed fees rather than hourly rates because if you agree hourly rates the bill can be much much larger than what you expected um, whereas if you've agreed a fixed fee at least you know you can budget for that during the year and you're going to get the services that you require for your social enterprise.